President Biden is in Tokyo, where he will meet with Japan's emperor and prime minister later. Uh, this is day three of his first presidential trip to Asia. Earlier today, before leaving South Korea, the president met with U.S. troops stationed in Osa at Osan Air Base as a show of support for the alliance between the two countries. NBC News correspondent Carol Lee is traveling with the president and joins me now from Tokyo, uh, Japan. Uh, welcome, uh, Carol Lee. Uh, what can we expect uh, with Biden's uh, visit uh, in Tokyo today? Well, largely, Michael, he's going to be focusing on the economy while he's here in Japan. There will be some focus on North Korea. That's obviously a big issue in the region. We heard from U.S. officials today that there's still concern of that North Korea could test a nuclear device or an intercontinental ballistic missile while the president is in Japan. So that's still an issue. And there will be other security issues that are discussed when the president meets with the prime minister. But the president's also going going to unveil this Indo-Pacific economic framework. And so that is designed to have the countries in the region kind of get on the same page in terms of enhancing trade among them and dealing with things like supply chains and tackling climate change. The question with all of that is how many countries actually sign on to this. The idea is to put some sort of economic check on China by what promoting what the administration is calling economic security. So that'll be the focus while the president in Japan. He'll also have a meeting with the Quad. That's the U.S., Japan, Australia, and India. And that'll be significant because they're going to focus on Ukraine. There'll be a lot of pressure on Indian Prime Minister Modi, who the president will meet with one-on-one, -on -one, to back the West in terms of putting a check on Russia and punishing Russia for its invasion of Ukraine. India has largely sat on the sidelines there, and the administration has been trying to push them to take a more hardened stance. So that's something else to watch. But Generally speaking, this this portion of the trip is really about the economics and the security and focus on China. I understand President Biden has also been talking about domestic issues as well. Mm -hmm. That's right. And particularly in South Korea, he focused on a couple of companies, South Korean companies that are going to open manufacturing plants in the U.S., saying that that'll bring jobs to the U.S. and will help deal with some of the economic issues there in the, on the longer term, not necessarily right away. And he was also asked about monkeypox, which he said is something that everyone should be concerned about. Take a listen to that. Well, they haven't told me the level of exposure yet, but it is something that everybody should be concerned about. We're working on it hard to figure out what we do and what uh, vaccine, if any, may be available for. But it is a concern in the sense that if it were to spread, it's consequential. Now, we heard from the president's national security advisor, Jake Sullivan, who said that he's been briefing the president on <clears throat> monkeypox with help from the president's health and medical advisors throughout this trip. So there's potentially more to come on that. A lot on the president's plate here as he begins his second stop on this four-day trip in Asia. Thank you, Carol Lee, from uh, Tokyo, Japan. Uh, ahead, Ukraine is getting more military and humanitarian aid from the U.S. as Russia continues its assault on that nation. We'll talk to former Congresswoman Jane Harmon, so don't go anywhere.